today I wanted to show you lots of things I've gotten from different shops. So a lot of them are on Etsy, on Instagram, some of them I purchased myself, some of them were sent to me, but they're just all things I love and have gotten over the last several months. So let's start with something in my office because I just redid my office. Um, I have, I don't know if you can see, I have lots of these Vogue prints by an illustrator named Hayden Williams and they are princesses that are obviously made to look like Vogue prints. And I cannot tell you how beautiful they are. Every single time I framed one, I sat and stared at it because I couldn't believe how pretty it was. I actually found out Etsy through a shop. I'm not gonna probably say all the correct names of the shops in the video, but they'll be on the screen and the link will be in the description. But these were only about six to seven dollars from Austin, but they're shipped from Australia. So they take a while to get and there's a shipping fee. But I actually got six of them originally and then I just ordered two more because I love them so much. So my first thing in my Disney haul are these Vogue Princess prints, which I cannot recommend enough. The second thing, and you can see a little peek of my, uh, my ear display here on the wall are my ears, which are all made by Mila Mouse ears. And although I love all the embroidered ones, many, some of them you can see on the wall here, I happen to be partial to the 3D printed ones because they are so light. You barely even notice that they are on your head. My newest pair happens to be one that says Prep School Travel. She surprises me with different designs all the time and I love it. So all my ears are from Mila Mouse Ears and I highly recommend them. And if you're worried about the, the heaviness of it, I recommend the 3D printed ones because they are so light. Next up, let's talk about shirts. Obviously, there's lots of shirts available. Some of my favorite ones are from Disney, but I have lots of them from other shops as well. And I wanted to talk about those. I'm wearing one from Blair Lamb Designs. I have actually several of her shirts and they are soft and they have beautiful typography. I have a sweatshirt, I have t-shirts, they're beautiful. So check out Blair Lamb Designs. Um, speaking of typography, um, when I wore this shirt on my last trip, everyone asked me where it was from. I wear it so much I had to go dig this out of the laundry to show it on here, but this one is from a shop called um, Dare to Dream Threads, and I love it. it. It is just cute and comfortable, and once again, I just happen to really like typography. The last shirt I wanted to show you is from Castle Tees. This is actually the shirt I'm wearing in my current Facebook profile picture, and it is a castle, a giant photo of a castle. They have lots of shirts, but this is the one that they sent me, and I I would not have picked out this design, but after they sent it to me, I decided I would try to wear it, and it is, it is gorgeous. And so I actually wore it in a picture in front of the castle. It's like castle camouflage, um, but it's gorgeous. So Castle Tees, Dare to Dream Threads, and Blair Lamb Designs are the three shirt shops that I wanted to recommend to you today. Next up, I wanna talk about these clear pouches. Now, when you're going through security at the airport or at Disney, you have to pull your stuff out to show the security people. And what's super handy is to have clear pouches, Ziplocs, or if you want to look a little nicer, you can get pouches like these. They happen to all have um, fabric, Disney related fabric on the edge of it. Super cute. And actually some of them, are, they're perfectly sized for ears, magic bands, things like that. And these are from a shop called Amy's Small World and I think they're adorable. I have not ever done the clear pouch thing on my trips, but now I can. So thanks for those pouches, Amy. Next up is a shop called Studio 1955, also on Etsy, and one of the items that they have that I happen to love is a passport you can use at Epcot. You can buy a passport at Epcot if you would like, but I just happen to like this one more because it has different things that you've eaten, a place for autographs, um, you know, a checklist of things that you saw, and I just think it's really well done. They also have other things in their shop, including these, which you can add to your planning binders or notebooks. And I just think they do really great designs. So that is Studio 1955 on Etsy. Next up is a shop called BDI. And what they do is they make things to put the puck of your magic band in the center of it. So when you get your magic band in the mail, there is a puck in the middle that you can remove if you'd like. And I actually kept the little gift bag so I can show you how it comes. So this one's a Mickey bar. And um, you put your puck in the middle of that. And they come, each one has this like Mickey confetti in it. So cute, their packaging is really well done. And then um, there is a, 
clip so that if you want to put it you know on your waistband or something like that you can there is also a carabiner clip if you want to put it for instance on your backpack as opposed to wearing it around your wrist and that is super cute they have incredible designs i love them they are so clever um the other one that i have is figment and they um obviously this one would look really cute with orange or purple puck in it, but just, just absolutely adorable. Cannot recommend them enough. Um, I don't tend to like to wear bracelets or things on my wrist too much. I actually just got an Apple watch recently. The first time I've had an Apple watch my whole adult life, my first time I've had a watch my whole adult life. Um, so the fact that I could put my magic band puck in these and just have it on my wristband or my backpack is hugely appealing. All right, and last but not least, you may have heard of Park Bound Buttons, which they have lots of great designs that combine like pop culture and Disney characters and they're super cute. But what you may not know is that Park Bound Buttons can do custom buttons for you on Etsy. So I actually sent them a mock-up of a button. See, it says Act Normal, it has a picture of Anna. And that's just sort of a, a joke that I have created because sometimes I get a little rowdy and so I have to remind myself to act normal and so I wear that one at Disney. But you could do it for whatever you wanted. You could do it for um, a certain birthday or celebration with your name on it. Um, you can do whatever you want. So I highly recommend the custom button shop on Etsy for part bound buttons. So I hope that is, is helpful to you if you are in the market for buying some merch. If you happen to have a shop, feel free to send to the, the mailbox address in the description and I may talk about it in a future video. Thanks for joining.